guys, Isaac Walton here with yet another mobile fishing game review. Today we've got Fly Fishing Simulator HD by Fish Tech. Now, honestly, if I just had to say one thing about this game, it is bar none the most realistic fly fishing game available for smartphones today. That's it. <laughs> Interested? Okay, let's dive into this. So now Fly Fishing Simulator HD actually has two versions out. There's the original Fly Fishing Simulator, and then there's the high definition version, which I'm playing today. I've played both. They're both great, but the HD version adds some things like the ability to tie flies, sharper graphics, better animations, etc. Um, so just for starters, if you do actually want to tie flies and then go fish with them, you can do that in this game. You'll choose your hook, what kind of fly you're going to use, and then you'll add your thread um, and you can add a wing to it let's go actually do some feathers all kinds of options here you can add a tail you can add your body i'll throw on some dubbing it's going to be a real ugly fly and when you're ever you're ready you can actually hit save on it uh, and go back and let's get out of this because we're not going to save this fly. You need to have tying credits, which you get after you catch fish. Oops. And we'll go back to the main screen. Okay, so you can tie flies. You can access many different actual rivers that were filmed using not quite photogrammetry style, but basically a photo and then there's some animation added to it. And you can, if you want, download additional rivers. Um, they're only about a buck each any purchase will get rid of ads. There is a package where I believe you can purchase all the rivers for a substantial fee, um, but it's really neat to see stuff that's real, right? Pigeon River, Black Earth Creek, there's even one in California here, Upper Hat Creek, Lower Hat Creek, I don't know if there's any other California streams. Uh, Columbia River, done a lot of fishing there, Steelhead and Smallmouth below McNary Dam. Very cool. A lot of the options here. This is a small developer. He's really poured out his time and effort and honestly his love into this game. It's really apparent. You can look at other records, but what everyone's interested in is going fishing. So let's go into that. So I've unlocked a lot on the initial version, Fly Fishing Simulator, not the HD version, but I've added a few here. Um, just for starters, I'll show you the practice pond. This is where you get the hang of casting in Fly Fishing Simulator. Okay. And what we'll be first greeted with is a really nice photo of basically a little pond, not unsimilar to your local park pond, right? Here is your fly rod. You can move it around. Pretty good physics to how it moves and the line moves. You'll notice your leader and your fly line there. You'll need to lower or get a little bit of extra line out by reeling out that way. And when you want, you can cast. And most of your casts are going to be basically roll cast style. Bring it back and flick it forward. And there, you're out in the water, okay? On this pond, you can, oh, oh, I got a hit. And notice the line tension. These are just bluegill. Won't be too big of a fight. Still bringing him in, making sure my screen isn't freezing on me. And boom, got a 6.81 inch bluegill. You can share it on Facebook or Twitter if you're interested in that. These are all actual photographs. <laughs> Apparently it's my record bluegill on the HD version. Let's go back to fishing just so I can explain a few more of the mechanics here. So you'll first want to get a little bit of line out, however far you want to cast. And you'll want to choose your flies, all right? Hit your fly box. You can actually check the hatch. Got some mayflies out there. And this is an ugly looking fly tied myself, but you can choose what other flies you want. And let's say you pick one that you're like, hey, that will imitate it pretty well. Then you can actually choose the size of it, okay? All the way larger, smaller, etc. Really neat, honestly. Other things you can choose are your gear the type of rod and reel, and you start out with a two weight. You're going to lose a ton of fish that way. The developer is aware of that, and you do have to upgrade, usually through a purchase, to get a heavier rod, unfortunately. Uh, but as you get more and more into this game, you'll probably find it's worth it. Okay, we're back to our rod, and let's look to add our leader, 2.5 pound leader. You're going to lose a lot of fish that way. It's just going to happen. We'll get out of that, and let's actually take you and show you some of the other cool streams here. So we'll go for the Middle Fork Whitewater River. Let's tie into some trout. Casting mechanics are pretty realistic, but again, you're mostly limited to kind of roll casting. Um, but there is both wet and dry fly fishing. Audio is fantastic. Turn it up a little bit so hopefully you can hear it. And video, uh, visual quality is actually really good. It's a significant upgrade from the original non-high definition version. Definitely encourage everyone just to get the HD version. I'm pretty sure your phones will support it. Oh, did you see that right there? Right in the center, there was a trout jumping. 
Um, the animated water looks really good. On the initial non-high definition one, the animated water got a little, I don't know, difficult to look at with the eyes. This is very smooth. The frame rate is excellent. It looks really realistic. Um, it's a little bit of a mini escape when you can't get out and actually fly fish. I only wish there was a real virtual reality version of this. That'd be fantastic. Getting out there casting with the Oculus, that'd be amazing. Okay, so let's find out what flies me. All right, all right, we'll check our hatch again. We're back to the mayfly. Let's try to get another dry fly that'll somewhat imitate that Usually, guy. when fishing with the dry fly, you'll want to cast mostly upstream. Then let the fly drift as naturally as possible over the area where a fish may be holding. And honestly, the, After the tips the are helpful. Passed over the prime water, You'll want to cast it upstream again. Okay, casting upstream, following all the instructions. There's no like difficulty level I'm aware of. The streams are the streams, and some fish are harder than others to catch. We're gonna take a little bit more line out. Again, try shooting this new dry fly all the way up here. So if we can't run into some trout. No, they're here. Things I really like about this game include the graphics, the casting mechanics, the realism. Your fly is in a good looking spot. Good hooks. There we go. Got him. Now notice the line tension. It's just like, oh, the fish is even jumping. I love it. And how the line is just jetting around the stream. Ooh, feels so realistic. Okay, guys. Thanks for sticking around with me on that one as I apparently struggled to catch a fish. Got my almost 11 inch brown trout here. Very proud of that. And you'll notice how the line is just zipping back and forth across the screen, cutting across the screen. Very realistic, what you'd expect from actually fighting the fish. It's very satisfying. The line tension meter is there. It's not overly annoying. It's just present. It seems to work pretty well. Let's try to see if we can't get any other fish here. Honestly, let's go see if we can tie into something huge, actually. Let's go to that other location. Go fishing. The Rogue River. <laughs> Two weight for steelhead. We're going to get thrashed here. Guarantee it. Well, hey, let's try it out. Okay. The fish here tend to be pretty big. They may be hard to land until you've earned some heavier rods or leaders. Okay. All right. Let's just see what a real fight is like on this ultralight gear. We don't have to worry about fatiguing the you fish out too a much. Nymph. A mayfly nymph pattern can because be almost any artificial. Time. This looks like a particularly good time to use one. See if that'll do the trick. This looks like a big river. I'm going to go for a uh, three foot and one split shot. Get a little extra line out. Okay. And again, roll cast it out there. Watch it just go along with the current. That's where the physics are getting a little funny with this fly line all across the screen. Fish aren't always as all right. Oh, now there we go. Ends. Ouch. Oh, bummer. Boom. Maybe you should try a stronger leader. Yeah, yeah, thanks, guys. I definitely should try a stronger leader. Y'all saw how I almost immediately snapped off on this that fish. So fish are not easy to land on this when you're definitely outmatched, which I am. <laughs> so that's been a long video. Thank you all for watching. This is Fly Fishing Simulator HD by Fish Tech. This is a fantastic game. If you want pure realism, this is it uh, for Android and iOS, I believe, as well. I do recommend dropping a dollar or so here. Once you've gotten kind of used to the fishing mechanics, it's worth it. Grab some extra rivers, maybe some extra gear. Definitely worth it. Um, <laughs> it's just one of those games that I've been playing for years. I enjoy it. I recently upgraded to the HD version, and I highly recommend it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Isaac Walton here for Hunting the River King. we got new reviews coming out soon. Stick around.